What's up guys, we're back with another episode of British Guy Reacts, the place where we give honest reactions, not overreactions, and today we're having a bit of food wars. US versus UK McDonald's. I'm expecting the US just to be bigger in everything, um, but we'll see. I don't know what other differences to expect. Maybe you have a few different items. Before we get into the video, just want to say thank you. We finally hit 1,000 subscribers on the channel. I say finally, but it's not been that long really. A couple of months we've been going now. But keep showing support, keep showing love, subscribe to the channel if you are enjoying the videos. It's much appreciated. And I see you guys in the comments. And I thank you for the support. Let's keep it going. But for now, let's get straight into this video and let's see the differences. I'm intrigued. From calorie count to portion sizes, we wanted to find out the biggest differences between UK and US McDonald's. I wonder, there can't be any other differences really, can there? Apart from sizes. Here we go, portion this sizes. This is what a small drink looks like in the UK. This is a US small. This is what a medium drink looks like. This is a US medium. And this is a large. Oh, and this is a US large. What? A litre? <laughs> There's almost a litre of Coke. No way. Yo. Our large is basically your guy's small. But in, honestly, sometimes I don't want a large meal. I don't want like the large, large chips or fries, as you guys would say. I, I want a large drink. I do like having a big drink, especially if you're having something salty. 250 mils, that's less than a can of Coke, you know what I mean? Well, I'm not too mad about this. A litre is way too much, though. 621 seems like a decent amount. A litre of Coke. No thanks. So with our McNuggets in the UK, the default adult sizes on the menu six are a box of six a box of nine, or a share box of 20. Nuggets. You can get a box of four, oh. or you can get a six piece, or 10, 20 for sharing, or ah, 40. No. And according to the three McDonald's in the area, they don't have 20 or 40 boxes. They just do them in increments of 10. But yeah, they're just giving four tens there, aren't they? It's not too bad though, again, the one thing with the annoying about the UK one is six to nine isn't much of a difference, you know? Like, I feel like it should just be five, ten, twenty, instead of doing six, nine, twenty. It's a bit of an odd, odd level of increments. Four is way too much, but if you're sharing them, it's not a bad thing, right? If you've got a few of the boys around, you're just sharing some food. But this is on the menu. And I've got a problem with it. It's a lot of nuggets. In the UK, we've got three sizes of fries. These are our small fries in the Only kids bag. are eating Here those. is the small fry. These are our medium fries in the iconic carton. Medium's the way the to go. Medium fry. And then these are our large fries. And here is the large fry. So we couldn't find an exact weight measurement for the fries online. So what we're going to do is weigh them ourselves. Fair enough. Oof. Damn. It looks so different as well, the fries. The is it just me or do the American fries look way more yellow? Why are they so yellow? Just out of curiosity, I'm gonna bring our trusty friend, the scales back. And we're gonna weigh the Big Mac and see if there is any difference in size. I'm not sure there will be, but let's find out. Every little matters. Hang on, hang on, hang on. We're going. Consistency there from McDonald's, you know. Ingredients. So while McDonald's fries might look and taste pretty similar in the UK and the US, in the UK we only have three ingredients, which is oil, oh, salt. This is gonna be why yours look yellow. And potatoes. Easy. The McDonald's french fries in America okay. have way more ingredients. These fries are made from potatoes, obviously. A vegetable oil, which is canola oil, corn oil, soybean oil, what? hydrogenated... What? Hydrogenated... Genitated? Ha! Uh, ah, thank you. Hydrogenated soybean oil. Natural. Beef. Flavor. Dextrose. So beef flavor? Sodium acid phosphatate? Phosphate? Phosphate? Pyrophosphate. Pyrophosphate. Sodium, 
acid, pyrophosphate, which is used to maintain the color. Uh, are they that much of a different color than the ones in the UK? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> the yellow? What do you mean? Is that worth it? Can we get a side-by-side -side comparison? Are they that much more bright yellow? We need to put sodium acid pyrophosphate or whatever it's called in it. Salt. And I should mention that a natural beef flavor contains hydrolyzed wheat and hydrolyzed milk as a starting ingredient. And of course, I have no idea what that means. So the biggest calorie difference in a Big Mac. I wonder why you have so many different ingredients. Is it for taste differences? Or is some of this stuff not allowed in the UK, maybe? Like the sodium acid high phosphorate, was it? Oh, I kind of want to try yours now, though. Why have they got beef flavor? Beef flavor fries. Phosphate or whatever it's called in it. Salt. And I should mention starting ingredient. And of course, I have no idea. Sorry for cracking my fingers. So the biggest there, calorie right? difference in a Big Mac actually comes from the sauce. In the US, they've got about 40 more calories than we do in the UK. We're not sure if this is because there's more sauce or because of the ingredients list. In the UK, it's just a little bit more simple. It's dry. Our sauce is made of soybean oil, sweet relish, which is made of diced pickles, sugar, high fructose corn syrup, distilled vinegar, salt, corn syrup, all right, two, two types of corn syrup, xanthan gum, yeah. Calcium chloride what? spice extractives. Water, I've heard of that. Egg yolks, distilled vinegar, spices, Egg onion yolks. powder, salt, propylene glycol alginate, garlic powder, vegetable protein, which has hydrolyzed corn, soy, and wheat, sugar, caramel color, turmeric, extractives of paprika, and of course, soy lecithin. Lechithin. What? Lechithin. What's going on in America, guys? What are you doing to your food? I kind of want to try it, though. I, want, I didn't think there'd be that much of a difference. I'd heard, like, they adapt the flavors to, like, the McDonald's in Asia and stuff. Like, they make it a bit different because people have different tastes over there. But I thought the UK and the US would be pretty similar. But I, if I was in America, I'd never think of going to a McDonald's because I'd be trying some fast food chains that we don't have, like, in and out we don't have Wendy's, uh, Shake Shack, we don't have. Popeye's chicken, we don't have. I only know these because I, I watch a lot of American TV. I see UFC fighters talking about it as well. Derek Lewis and such. But maybe I'd have to try McDonald's. So if you are trying to eat healthily at McDonald's, it might actually be the drinks that you have to look out Don't bother, for. you know. That's not surprising That's nothing, though, is guys. it really? Our chocolate Ooh. shake. 840 calories. Ooh. That's as many calories as two cheeseburgers and one hamburger. Yo, if you guys are trying to put weight on in the gym, you don't need a uh, weight gain. Like uh, weight gain, and you just go and get a chocolate milkshake from McDonald's. What does that all mean? If you were to walk into a UK McDonald's and order yourself a large Big Mac meal with a milkshake, it would be around 1,400 calories. And if you were to get the large Big Mac meal with the chocolate shake in America, the total here is. 1,870 calories. So that's 1,870 calories. The daily calorie allowance for an American dude is 2,500. Okay, so you have 630 left. Uh, one McNugget is 55 calories, right? So you could also have uh, 11 more nuggets and uh, there you go. That's all you need for the day. Exclusives. I bet you have better it's exclusives. Everything you can McDonald's. only get at a UK McDonald's. So here we've got the Veggie Deluxe Burger, which is a veggie burger that's served with some mayo and some lettuce. Here we've got a Chicken Legend, which is a chicken burger, again served with mayo and lettuce. Chicken Legend. I, I don't even know what that is. Not going to catch on. That can stay in the UK. We have a range of wraps that you can get in the UK. We have a wrap. I like of the these day. wraps. Here we've got the, the wrap of the day crisp, is good. Which is some... when I was a uni student, college student. I didn't have much money, you know, so this was a go-to, whatever the wrap of the day was. It was like two pound. It's good, it's a good little snack. Mm. Chicken, along with some veg and some spicy fajita sauce. Here we've got some veggie dippers. These were actually introduced as uh, part of Veganuary seen, in 2020 in the UK. But they've seen these the being so called vegan society approved. They look like, sort of like a fried bean patty they sort like of thing. like a razors inside. <sighs> like pick a more unappetizing thing to get at McDonald's. Veggie dippers. And then finally, we've got some mozzarella dippers, which are just kind of mozzarella sticks. Solid. With the salsa well, bit. 
Sucks to be in the UK, because everything oh. you see right here is USA only, baby. Ha <laughs> ha! USA only! I love the different in difference in personalities between the UK and the US guy as well. This UK guy is so chilled out. The Americans are a bit, <laughs> a bit more crazy. So I'm going to talk about the coffee drinks real fast. Here in the US, we have all the same coffee drinks they do in the UK, but every coffee drink has an iced version and also a caramel and or French vanilla and or mocha version, depending on... I feel like this video is old because we can definitely get a lot of iced coffees at McDonald's now. Especially like the... Macchiato, I'm sure, can. Maybe you can. I'm sure we. Sure you can, though. Not all of these, but I'm pretty sure you can get more than an iced latte. I'm pretty sure. What you're getting. So we in the U.S. of course have more variety. Shamrock shake. What is that? The shamrock shake is like it's like vanilla and mint shake. Strawberry sundae. Okay. This has recently been discontinued in the UK. Sorry guys. Still got in the US. Doesn't look great. My favorite as a kid. Caramel sundae. Fruit and yogurt parfait. Maybe it's healthy, I have no idea. Probably not. Those were the cold items I wanted to get out of the way as they slowly melt. There's nothing I'm lights. dying for though. You got know, a lot right. more to go through. Harry, bear with me here, buddy. Buttermilk, crispy chicken sandwich. Yo, okay. I think this was introduced when the chicken the brioche bun looks good, not gonna Chicken lie. Sandwich Wars are really heating up when Chick-fil-A started taking over. Let's see what's under the hood. Look at that. Look at this. Yeah. I like quarter the spicy chicken cheese. burger though. Deluxe. This is your fancy quarter pounder with cheese. This is uh, for a Sunday dinner. When you have company over. Ah, there's so much. Sausage breakfast burrito. Even after it's, for a while, it's like still like glowing yellow. Uh. <laughs> No. Now these are the buttermilk crispy chicken tenders. These smell amazing. I want to bite into these so bad. <laughs> I just take a big bite. I want to talk about sauces real quick. Okay, I'm at McDonald's and I go, give me one of everything. And I've heard from the, I've heard from Harry and the team over at the UK that some of these they don't have, including sweet and sour, honey mustard. Okay. What else don't you guys have? I don't think you guys have ranch either or buffalo. I got to say though, the sauces are everything. We got a couple of sauces that are kind of unique to the UK as well. We've got a sweet curry dipping sauce. I like this one for my nuggets. And then we've also got a salsa dip as well, which I didn't know existed until. Yeah, that's for your dippers, man. Come on, Harry. Today. Oh, yes. Dippers. Donut sticks. These donut what? sticks also come with a chocolate dipping okay. sauce. I'd like to try Another this. Another thing I'm certain they don't have in the UK. I would like yeah. to try that. Oh, <laughs> breakfast is served. I have Look a sweet tooth. Oh, yeah. Especially chocolate. He's ready to start chocolate. the day. It's McGriddle talk. I need to try some American chocolates, maybe. That's not a bad idea. I've never tried Hershey's. That's probably the only American chocolate I know, though. Sorry, a lot of pauses this video. It's food, so I'm getting excited. Who's ready to start the day? It's McGriddle talk. McGriddle? Ooh, okay. Bacon, egg, and cheese. Okay. <laughs> Is that made me pancakes? Is that a pancake on the top of they look nice, you know. So for those of you in the UK who don't know what a McGriddle is. I don't know what uh, it is. The United States McDonald's had this genius idea. What if we took breakfast sandwiches, replaced the buns, and made them pancakes? Okay. And somehow injected some sort of syrup flavor into the pancakes. Oh, and the I McGriddle was this. born, and I have to say, they're fantastic. This one right here, the bacon, egg, and cheese McGriddle. This is the... Uh, Sausage. Oh, I want to try this. Yeah. See, I I remember, like, about six, seven years ago, I used to, st I would eat bacon on pancakes with a bit of maple syrup, and all my family thought I was weird for doing it, but I'd seen it on My Wife and Kids or something. You've seen the show, or Fresh, I don't know, I've seen it on an American show, and I tried it, and it was bloody brilliant, and all my family were calling me weird, and now they all do it. Now it's caught on a bit more in America. We have there's quite a lot of like American brunch places or breakfast diners, you know what I mean? And it's caught on a bit more like chicken and waffles, that sort of stuff. But yeah, they used to give me smoke for it back in the day, but now people love it. Hi. Hey. So hey. I'd be here for this. This is the sausage egg and cheese McGriddle. 
American food engineering at its finest. I'm not sure about egg on there though. Sausage and bacon, yeah. In the UK, you guys call biscuits cookies. Here, no. So in the UK, biscuits are cookies, or what we call cookies. In the US, uh, biscuits are what we call, uh, I don't know what else you can call them. Like, you bake them and they're from the south and they're dry and I don't know what they are. Much like the McGriddles, we have a version of every breakfast sandwich that instead of the regular bun bread, it's biscuits. Not the cookie biscuits like you guys have. Um, the I have tried a biscuit. Funnily enough, in Turkey, um, they do biscuits. It was in a KFC though that I tried it. It was nice. It was good. A bit thick, a bit, a bit too much, you know, but pretty nice. These biscuits. Joe, you were so close on the whole cookie biscuit thing. What you guys call biscuits, we would actually kind of call scones or scones, depending on where you're from. And the thought of putting breakfast food in between them is kind of weird. They're usually reserved for cream and jam for an afternoon tea. Who about Harry? Last, and in my opinion, least, is this thing. The salad. Southwest What's the grilled chicken salad. Just don't go to McDonald's. Yo, he's moving mad. <laughs> yeah. oh. I just don't get the point. Can I can I eat now? Not of salads yeah. of McDonald's yeah. salad. It's gonna be a cold big calories. Mac. It's just really good. Mm-hmm. Okay, so that was US versus UK McDonald's food wars. Basically what we thought at the start. More calories in the US ones, bigger sizes, more choice though, to be fair to you. Way more ingredients, which I didn't expect, but kind of has me intrigued to try try the US one. And I wonder why they do have more ingredients. Like I said, is it stuff that's not allowed in the UK or is it for taste differences? I'd be intrigued to know that. Um, the exclusive items, none of them really. None of them apart from that pancake one, the McGriddle was it? I'd like to try one of them. Let me know down in the comments what you thought of the video, any suggestions for videos in the future. And if you are enjoying the video, subscribe to the channel. Like I said, we're at a thousand now, but we're going to keep pushing, see how high we can get. That's it for now. Take it easy. Peace.